Adam and Eve is a conglomerate company that sells sex toys, vibrators, condoms, and lingerie, as well as funding non-profit social marketing organizations that address issues such as population growth, disease control and sex education in developing countries. In 2006, it was described by Reuters as one of the handful of studios that dominate the U.S. porn industry. The company is the largest mail-order distributor of condoms, sex toys, and erotica in the United States. Founder Phil Harvey has been called one of the most influential figures in the American sex industry today. Its parent company, Fee Inc., is the largest private employer in Hillsboro, North Carolina, where its headquarters are situated. Topic origins Adam and Eve was founded in 1970 by physician Tim Black and Phil Harvey. It started as a small storefront on one of Chapel Hill, North Carolina's main streets, selling condoms and lubricants. It soon became a mail-order catalog selling contraceptives through non-medical channels. Harvey, having just returned from India as a part of the Care Pre-School Feeding Program, concluded that poor family planning was the source of many social problems. While still a graduate student at the University of North Carolina's School of Public Health, Harvey and Muller conceived Adam and Eve to fund a non-profit organization in hopes of using the profits to finance family planning programs in developing countries. With a Ford Foundation Fellowship, the two men devised a plan to use social marketing in the U.S., and with university consent, they began writing witty ad copy What Will You Get Her This Christmas, Pregnant, and Advertising Condoms in the Mail. After running ads in 300 of the largest U.S. college newspapers, the orders started and did not stop. Though selling condoms via the mail was in violation of the Comstock Act not overturned judicially in its entirety until 1972, Harvey and Muller knew the law was rarely enforced. Success ensued, and the men began to see a profit, stating, the mail-order condom market was just sitting there waiting for somebody, recalls Harvey. We'd sit down at the end of the week and pay our bills and I'd say, there seems to be some money left over here, that's about how much we knew about business. He also gives authors a chance to write for his videos. Philanthropy <laughs> 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 Population Services International With business generating more than enough revenue to cover costs, the partners wondered if the condom business could create enough of a profit to finance overseas social marketing projects. If so, they would have the ability to bypass conventional donors and function with complete autonomy. With that, the men launched Population Services International and by 1975 were conducting condom marketing programs in Bangladesh and Kenya. Though Harvey left his position as the director in the late 1970s, Sai still sells birth control and health products in over 60 countries and is prominent in international family planning. Topic DKT International In the late 1970s, Harvey focused more on running Adam and Eve, but in 1989, he launched DKT International DKT, an organization that promotes family planning and HIV, AIDS prevention in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Much of DKT's revenue comes from its sales of low-cost contraceptives, but Adam and Eve also donates more than 25% of its profits to DKT. While DKT's biggest programs draw funding from government agencies and foundations, its private funding allows it to be a more innovative and agile participant in its discipline. DKT's social marketing strategies have included advertising, creating location-specific brands, working with local social networks and militaries, and targeting high-risk groups. Topic company overview Along with Adam and Eve's signature brand of erotic toys, Adam and Eve carries a variety of items for men, women and couples. 
In 2004, Adam and Eve started franchising its stores in the U.S. In 2009, the company donated funds to the Free Speech Coalition. Its contract stars to date have included Julie Ashton, Mari Posa, Austin Moore, Carmen Luvana, Ava Rose, Sophia Lynn, Brie Olson, Caden Cross, Alexis Ford, and Tegan Presley. <laughs> <laughs> 